Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, to me, this is a, a special edition uh, of the discussion. Uh, normally, I have the Bible study on Wednesday night. This is Thursday night. However, we're in Corpus Christi, Texas, which means Body of Christ. And this is the wonderful Harbor Bridge behind me that has had special lighting added to it uh, sometime during the last year that we get to watch while I give a uh, discussion on uh, actually from the nature of personal reality. This is a Seth book and uh, I'm going to be reading out of chapter 5, The Constant Creation of the Physical Body is the name of that chapter, session 626 and then out of this is out of this uh, edition, it'll be at the bottom of page 99, the last two paragraphs is what we're going to discuss tonight. It starts off, the first sentence is, the conscious mind exists before material life and after it. And um, that by itself, if you, if you followed last session, last discussion we had, we did read these last two paragraphs, but I mentioned I was going to go over them again because they're so packed with information. So that sentence itself is implying that our conscious mind exists separate from our physical body. It exists before physical life and after it. It's a statement of fact. So again, if you believe the Seth material, then all worries about whether you live after you die would be eliminated, but the interesting thing is you also are alive before you are born, so it has a lot of interesting implications to it. The second sentence uh, says, in corporal existence, it, and that means the conscious mind, is intertwined with the brain, which of course we know is in our skull there, and during physical life, your earthly perceptions your precise and steady focus within your particular space and time system are dependent upon that fine alliance. So in one paragraph he's made it very clear that there's an alliance between the conscious mind and the physical brain and that our earthly perceptions there has to be a precise and steady focus that's within our particular space and time system, which also implies there are others. So there's a lot of information sort of implied in this whole paragraph alone. Now the last paragraph we're going to read starts off with, Before physical birth, then, you form a mental concept of your body you will have. So even before you're born, Consciously, you have formed a concept, it's a mental concept, of the body that you will have. This image is impressed into matter in this way, and he describes it. You tune yourself into a highly specific dimension of reality. You form a physical structure that will have existence within that intensely concentrated area that will have validity and actuality and then this is underlined that will come alive within those frequencies with frequencies in and not in parentheses, in, uh, what am I saying, italics? Not even italics, the uh, little quotes. Now, the interesting part is, if you think about it, then using his concepts that he's talking to us about, it does have to do with vibrations and frequencies and space and time and electromagnetic spectrum. Everything that we sort of mean when we say, you know, talking about is the way he's using these words to describe how we, before birth, make it so, make all of this occur. Now, there are other 
aspects to the whole birth that actually do occur. I mean, the, the, there is DNA and there is the cell division and the growth from the egg is fertilized all the way through the fetus and the baby on up. Now, all that's true, but what he's saying is this has all occurred ahead of time with a mental concept and that we have made sure that we are forming the body that we want. We are choosing this. We are causing this to happen before we're even born. Plus, we, I, am in a particular space-time frequency. And I bet when we get into the deep, deep details as this information becomes very, very specialized, we'll find out that actually everybody is in a slightly different space-time frequency and that we are lucky that we can communicate at all. This huge cooperation that is occurring is because we are all constantly retuning and always getting as close as we can to, quote, do you see what I see? Everybody is trying to get in on the same thing, and that's what creates this massive, constant structure that we know of as the Earth. It's, it's an interesting concept, and there's much more to be said about that, but out of these two paragraphs, I wanted to make it clear that this, this is no accident. There are no accidents. This is a conscious creation, even before birth, and that our body is chosen. We'll take some more time next discussion to finish out the uh, session some other people, but I want to take advantage of this wonderful background, this wonderful city, I love the name Corpus Christi, and to present this material to you tonight, and thank you very much.